What's up, Magic the Gathering deck brewers from all over the world. What's up, Kitchen Table Wizards. We're in a bit of a strange location this time. We are abroad, but we are still here with a deck for you guys. This time, I'm going to put in my mixer a modern deck that is very popular. It's also budget, at least this one is. This time, we're going Boggles. So I'm on a location abroad at the moment, but I'm still here with my intern, Victoria. Now, Victoria, do you know what Boggles is? Я считаю, что это крохотный зверь, который любит рыбу и не любит становиться целью заклинаний. Really think I need to start uh, taking Russian language classes. Um, so a, a Boggle is like a Kavu who likes fish. Maybe you understand that? Только не каву, нет, хватит каву, пожалуйста, не надо. Я понимаю, что это крошечный зверь, но это не каву, Брэм. I think she got it more or less, uh, especially the каву part. Uh, I think I also learned my first Russian word. Uh, каву means каву in Russian, right? Very good, Брэм. Very good. Now, enough about the Kavus. This time we're going to talk about a Boggles deck. And the Boggles deck, that's a deck where you slam a bunch of enchantments on a hexproof creature and then go to town with it. Now, in Innistrad, Midnight Vow. It's Crimson Vow, Bram. Innistrad, Crimson Vow. Uh, what are, what are you doing here? Just making sure you provide the YouTube algorithm with the right context. And also, I saw you made this really great storm token for your members, but you don't have any members. Yeah, that is a bit embarrassing, I know. What if you made a token from me as an angel and Victoria as a spirit and maybe that way you will get more members? Ah yes, that's that's a really good idea actually. Uh, uh, or maybe we can we can have like cleric tokens made. Uh, they're also very popular, I, I believe. Uh, and then we... We can have you and Victoria dressed as nuns and you'd be like the warrior nun and... I think we better stick with the angel Bram. So if you want to support us and get some really nice tokens, check out the membership video right here and leave a comment down below on which token you want to see created by the amazing Anna Verhoog. That's a great idea, Nora. And what is also a great idea is visiting our sponsor, our partner, Card Market. They are still the best place to get your singles in Europe. So if you never tried out Card Market, do check out the link in the description below and find out how you can contact me to claim your free five euro sign-up voucher to buy yourself some free stuff at Card Market. Now, as all my decks, this is a deck around 50 euros based on the traditional Bogles deck from Modern. So we'll include a few Bogles cards that are in the traditional deck, but we'll also put a few new cards in it from Innistrad, Midnight, sorry, Crimson Vow. Oh yeah, and uh, of course, as always, I put my little casual sauce on it. Uh, the flavor is very important. And we're going to start with the flavor, the basic lands. Yeah, I love blue sauce, только не со вкусом каву. Yes, yes, I, I know you like Cavus, Victoria, but we, we need to focus on the Bogles now, okay? The Bogles. I had some trouble finding the right basics, so I do think these black and white versions are quite cool. And they have like a mystical aura about them. Eight planes and seven islands to start with. Nimbus Maze and Deserted Beach will mostly come into play untapped, so they're great in this fast spirit aura deck. Being a budget deck, adding two port towns and two prairie streams seems like a good plan to play fast and keep our budget under control. We also include one castle to make sure we always have some dorks to put our auras on. To pay homage to the original Boggles deck, we play four Slippery Boggles and three Invisible Stalkers. Seven hexproof creatures to target with our auras. Storm Chaser Drake is a great budget option for the Boggles deck. 
It doesn't have hexproof, but it does draw you a lot of cards in this deck. And of course, Core Spirit Dancer is a must have. For budget reasons, I only play one. But if you have the bling, you can include more. I also want to try out this card from Innistrad, Crimson Vow. Well done, Bram. Dorothea, Vengeful Victim is a 4-4 flyer for 2 mana. Now, you can only attack once with Dorothea, as you need to sacrifice it afterwards. But you can still play it from your graveyard for its disturb cost of 3. And then you'll get this great aura that creates 4-4 four, four flying spirit tokens when its enchanted creature attacks. Two other disturbed creatures are Twinblade Geist and Mischievous Cat Geist. They turn into an aura that gives double strike, called Twinblade Invocation, and an aura that draws you cards, called Cat Like Curiosity. Next up, some creatures that love auras. Danita makes auras cheaper and is a great target as she has lifelink, first strike, and vigilance. The Grace Blade Artisan is just a 2 3 for 3 mana. But for every aura, it gets plus 2 plus 2, so it can get huge very, very fast. And I also included two copies of Heliod's Pilgrim to find us some more auras. Another new card I want to try out in my aura deck is this Brine Comber, a spirit that creates more spirits and we can play it for 2 mana for its disturb cost as Brine Bound Gift, an aura which also creates more spirits. This card helps us against our worst matchups. It's called Fiend Slayer Paladin, it has a pseudo hexproof versus black and red and also has first strike and lifelink. And the last creature in the deck is called Catilda Dawnheart Martyr. It has flying and lifelink and its power and toughness is equal to the number of spirits and enchantments and that's quite nice. And of course it also changes into an aura that gives this same ability to the creature you enchant. Really nice on one of our boggles. Now let's talk some more about auras. And a bit less about Kao. Okay girls, let's start with three cheap auras and two of them are also in the original Boggles deck. I'm talking about Hyena Umbra, which gives first strike and also has totem armor, meaning this aura prevents lethal damage once and Griff's Boon gives plus one, plus zero oh, and flying and you can play it again for seven from your graveyard attached to a creature. I also included one copy of Sentinel's Eyes Giving plus one plus one and vigilance is good and you can also play this one from your graveyard. Now the big power boost comes of course from all the glitters and ethereal armor. Both give plus one plus one for each enchantment and ethereal armor also adds first strike. So yes, I know the armor is better, but this channel is also a little bit about learning about all the different magic cards and making diverse decks and all the glitters also has to do with glitter and Nora also likes glitter. So I'm sure that's a, a good include. Spirit Mantle's protection from creatures is also really strong and Staggering Insight adds both card draw and lifelink and also a plus one plus one bonus. The Cartouche of Knowledge can draw cards and give a boost and adds flying, which is awesome for just two mana. And Cradle of Safety gives Hexproof for one turn, so you can protect your non-boggle guys with it. Plus, it can also act as a small combat trick with the Flash ability. Some more auras are Skyblade's Boon, which adds plus one plus one and flying and can return to your hand for three. Spectral Steel adds plus two plus two and you can use it to take another aura back to your hand from the graveyard. And Rousing Reed adds plus one plus one and flying and draws you two cards and you discard one. Also a great include for a common in this deck. Of course I also include a staple from the Bogles deck. Daybreak Coronet gets two copies. 
also for budget reasons. Now this one can only enchant a creature that's already enchanted. However, it adds plus three, plus three, first strike, vigilance and lifelink. Now the last two enchantments in the deck are defensive ones that you can get with your Heliod's Pilgrim when you're behind. Frogify turns a creature into a frog and Cage of Hand is a pacifism that you can get back from your hand in case you change your mind. So this was my take on a Bogles deck, a flavorful budget Bogles deck. Leave in the comments what you think of this deck with some cards from Innistrad Crimson Vow. Also leave in the comments which tokens you want to see our great artist Anna Verhoog make for you guys and also check out the membership video and if you want to see some matches check out our playlist right here and i will see you soon for a new gauntlet announcement for some other videos and of course for a new deck deck always keep it casual bye bye